And this is show number 74, which is a review show. And if you missed uh, part of the shows during the week, you can always come on in and catch those last two shows of each series, and then you've got the review and you'll catch up. We're going to start with the eagle, which is going to be working through the shoulders in your joints, shoulders, elbows, hips, knees, balance, concentration, and so on. You'll start out by bending both of your elbows. Bring your right elbow underneath the left. You cross your arms over in front. Wrap your forearms around one another and interlace your fingers. Bring your index fingers up out in front of you. If you can't hold, you can always have a sash in your hand. Drop it over and grab a hold of it and keep inching your weight up as the muscles in your neck and shoulders begin to release. So right arm underneath. If it's a right arm that's underneath and crosses, then it's the right leg that will be crossing over the top of your left. So fix your eyes on a spot on the floor and bend your left knee. You've got to keep that left leg flexed and you cross the right leg over the top of your left, clip the toe around your ankle and work up and down, work up and down. Try to feel, get a feel for your balance, work through your ankle joint, Work up and down, up and down. Bend your knee, bend your knee, bend your knee. Lower a little bit, up and down. Come up, uncross, and uncross your arms. Work through the shoulders. Keep your knees flexed, elbows bent. This time, the left elbow underneath the right. Wrap those forearms around. Interlo index fingers up, all of the weight on your right leg, and bend the right knee. A lot of people keep thinking they're doing it and they keep their knee locked. There's no way you're going to do it if you lock your knee. Bend your knee and bring the left leg over the top of the right, clip your toe around your ankle, and again, flex, flex, flex. Feel your balance. Breathe softly, lower a little, a little, come back up, uncross, and uncross. That's just to get you started. Have a chair close by if you can't balance yet. Be close to the wall. Every time you do it, lower your hips a little lower, a little lower, a little lower, until ultimately you'll have your hips very close to your heels. Just keep working at it, but it's better to start just a little bit with the flexing than to try to get the whole thing done at one time. Now, cross your ankles and ease down. And we'll go into the different variation of the clam just to stretch through the low back. Sliding your forearm underneath your calf, put your palm over the top of your foot. Left hand underneath and palms over the top of your feet. Rotate your pelvis forward. Get your mind very much into your sitting bones. Be certain that you are way to the front part of the sitting bones and lead with your chin and stretch forward. You don't want to put your head on your feet. You just want to get a deep stretch through the low back. Lengthen it out and come back up. Ease out of your position and come onto your elbow. We've done the side balance pose. Have your elbow directly beneath your shoulder. If you have your elbow out, this is going to be very difficult for you. Alignment is important. Lower leg straight, upper knee bent. Tighten up your stomach, hand on your thigh. Push up. Put your ankle bones together. Have your spine, neck, legs in a straight line. Breathe softly, use your biceps and your triceps. Don't let your hips come down onto the floor. Breathe softly and come down and turn. Onto your left elbow, lower leg locked and straight, upper knee bent, stomach tight, hand on your thigh, elbow directly below your shoulder. Push up, legs together, pick up your head a little bit, have your legs, spine, neck, head, 
in a straight line. Breathe softly and ease down, swinging over. This time, keep your hips on the floor. Again, tighten your stomach, bend your knee, hold your heel, and glide your leg up. Glide your leg up. Stretch. Breathe softly. Keep stretching. Breathe softly. Breathe softly. Coax your knee into getting good and straight. Hold a deep stretch. When you hold, that is your security that you are not going to overstretch. You will not get sore, but you will get greater flexibility and a stronger body. Now, bend your knee, hold your heel, glide your leg up, breathe softly. Try to relax your kneecap. Relax your kneecap, straighten out your leg, breathe softly, hold your stretch. Get a little deeper into your stretch, pull a little bit more, and bend your knee, come down, on over to the right side again. Now we're going to put all of it together. Upper knee bent, elbow well beneath your shoulders. Push up, find your balance, find your balance. Bend your knee, hold your heel, stretch up. Breathe softly, don't let your hips come onto the floor. Breathe softly. Bend your knee, hips down. Rolling over onto your elbow. Lower leg straight and locked, upper knee bent. Elbow directly below your shoulder. Push up, find your balance. Breathe softly, bend, hold your heel, leg up. Breathe softly. Stretch, stretch, ease down, swing over, onto your elbow, lower leg straight, upper knee bent, push up, find your balance, stretch, breathe softly. Leg down and down. And turn. Elbow down. Want to get good strength in those upper arms. Lower leg bent. Uh, lower leg straight. Upper knee bent. Push up. Find your balance. Hold. Stretch up. Hips up, breathe softly, leg down, hips down, back up again. Now, the soles of your feet together, inhale deeply through the nose and out through your mouth. Inhale. <sighs> now extend your legs straight out and begin to lift and tilt Folding forward at the hip joints, folding forward. Lead with your chin, lead with your chin. Push the heels of your feet away from you. Hold on to your toes. Try to pull forward, try to put your elbows on the floor. Pick up your head, come up, bend your knees, relax for a moment. That's a really deep stretch for those hamstrings. Legs straight out, lift and tilt. Lead with your chin, hold on to your toes. Pull forward, lead with your chin, get way to the upper back part of your thighs. Try to put your elbows on the floor, forehead down. Pick up your head, come straight up and relax. Now we're going to do the elbow balance. As we learned early in the week, it's easier to go into full lotus 
when you are on your back. If you can't do full lotus, go half lotus or go Indian style. Put your forearms beneath your pelvic girdle. Make a fist with your hands. Do not sit on your hands. Inhale. Exhale. Pick up your head and shoulders. Forearms up. Try to come up onto your elbows. Get your shoulders up. Get only one or two vertebra on the floor. Stomach tight. Head toward your knees. Ease out. Arms down. Lower your knees to the floor. Stomach in. Long waist. Internal stretch. Ease out. Bring the left foot up first. Then the right foot over. Lift up forearms beneath your pelvis. Make a fist with your hands. Inhale. Exhale, lift up. Come up on your elbows. Balance on your elbows. Don't sit on your hands. Get your fists off the floor. Ease down. Arms out. Draw your stomach in, lower your knees, lower your knees, get an internal stretch through the abdominal area, open the ribs, lengthen your waist, draw the stomach in, and ease out. Now we'll try to go, go the right foot up first, half lotus, which is harder. Lift up, make a fist with both hands, inhale, Exhale, pick up your head, come up. Keep your foot in close to your body. Balance on your elbows, tighten your stomach. Ease out, lower. Press your knees down, flatten your stomach, lengthen your waist, open the ribs, and ease out and change. Half lotus with the left foot up. Fists made. Inhale up, inhale. Now up, come up on your elbows and ease down. I'll see you next time. Bye. To purchase a copy of Stretching for Athletes, program 012 002, please call 1 800. 553-7752 or write to the address on your screen.